This is Dr. John Scharfenberg, professor of nutrition at Loma Linda University, where I've been there for the last 58 years. He is still an active physician nutritionist and professor of nutrition at Loma Linda University at the age of 100. Prepare to be inspired as he continues to graciously share his knowledge to help you live healthier lives. Did you realize that the majority of Americans are vitamin deficient? Stay until the end to learn about three of those vitamins and how to treat a deficiency in Dr. Scharfenberg's own words. Let's start with three tips on how Dr. Scharfenberg keeps healthy as an active centenarian. Exercise. And then get more exercise. And you need more exercise. Dr. Scharfenberg highlights the significance of exercise in terms of health and longevity. He highlights the importance of everyday exercise for those in their 40s and 50s. The most critical period for you to exercise is in your 40s. Exercise at that age may lower your risk of Alzheimer's. At age 100, Dr. Scharfenberg has reduced his exercise regimen, although he continues to walk. As an older adult, walking at least two miles a day is recommended. Regular physical activity is one of the most important things you can do for your health. It can prevent or postpone many of the health issues that tend to accompany aging. It also helps your muscles develop stronger, allowing you to carry on with your daily chores without becoming dependent on others. Diet. What do you think the biggest cause is? What is it in the American diet? Is it a combination of not enough exercise? Is it too much sugar? I think eating between meals is number one. Wow. Dr. Scharfenberg is a Seventh-day Adventist who does not smoke or drink and is a vegetarian. While vegetarianism is not necessarily required, many Adventists prefer to eat only plant-based foods. Did you know that Dr. Scharfenberg's hometown of Loma Linda, California, is one of the world's fifth known Blue Zone areas? Blue Zones are locations of the world where people live longer lives than the average. Many people reside in Blue Zones, including Loma Linda, Okinawa, Japan, Sardinia, Italy, Nicoya, Costa Rica, and Korea. Live for at least 100 years. According to Blue Zone research, 95% of people who live to be at least 108 eat a plant-based diet high in beans and healthy grains. Furthermore, it has been demonstrated that the Loma Linda Adventists outlive other Americans by nearly a decade. Furthermore, research have shown that vegetarian Adventists live 1.5 to 2.4 years longer on average than non-vegetarian Adventists. What foods do Adventists normally consume on a daily basis? The foods in an Adventist kitchen are often divided into five categories. Number one, legumes, beans, lentils, chickpeas, and peas are examples. They contain a lot of protein, fiber, and other nutrients. Number two, whole grains. Whole grains, such as brown rice, barley, and oats, are higher in fiber than refined grains. A high whole grain diet has been related to lower incidence of heart disease, diabetes, and certain malignancies. Number three, nuts. If you are in a high risk group, eating nuts as part of a balanced diet can lower your chance of having a heart attack in half. Because nuts are heavy in calories, you should restrict your serving size. Number four, fruits and vegetables. To reap the best benefits, eat a variety of foods every day. They include plant compounds that can reduce your risk of developing chronic diseases. What does Dr. Scharfenberg consume specifically as an Adventist resident of Loma Linda to retain his health and keen mind in his golden age? Number five, soybeans. Soybeans are abundant in protein and a good source of carbohydrates and lipids. They include a variety of vitamins, minerals, and useful plant chemicals. Isoflavones, for example. As a result, regular soybean consumption may improve menopausal symptoms and lower your risk of prostate and breast cancer. However, in susceptible individuals, they might cause stomach issues and decrease thyroid function. Our bodies are really designed for a vegetarian diet. Yeah, I think that's true. We don't have as good evidence for that, mm -hmm. but I, I think it's true that we are designed to be vegetarian. Top fruits he eats. Dr. Scharfenberg enjoys eating fruits. Mango is recognized as the king of fruits in many regions where it is grown. Mango, 
like leafy greens such as spinach, broccoli, and kale, and bright yellow and red foods like as tomatoes, peppers, and egg yolks, are high in lutein and zeaxanthin, which may help reduce the risk of chronic eye problems. Polyphenols and mangoes may also aid in the prevention of some breast and colon cancer cells from growing. According to a 2010 study, mangoes are an excellent source of vitamin B6, which many seniors do not get enough of for good health. Vitamin B6 is necessary for proper brain function. A half cup of raw mango contains 10% of the vitamin B6 we require each day. Dr. Scharfenberg also mentioned three other vitamins that are frequently weak in seniors. Let us investigate what they are and how we might address them in order to live a healthy and long life. Vitamin A. Approximately 45% of Americans do not get enough vitamin A. Vitamin A deficiency affects around 127 million children and 7 million pregnant women worldwide. This vitamin deficiency can increase your risk of infection, blindness, and even death. Vitamin A is required for skin cell repair, as well as maintaining good vision and a strong immune system. As a result, persons who are vitamin A deficient are at a higher risk of contracting a severe infection. Because children are more susceptible to infections, it is critical that kids under the age of 5 acquire enough vitamin A through their diets or supplements. Night blindness is a major warning indication of vitamin A insufficiency in adults. To prevent vitamin A deficiency, it is important to eat healthy diets. Vitamin B12. Basically, for vegetarians or for seniors who find it hard to absorb vitamin B12, it is best to take supplements. Vitamin D. Regardless of age, more than half of the general population is vitamin D deficient. It worsens with age. Approximately 70% of older Americans are deficient in vitamin D. According to some research, up to 95% of American individuals are vitamin D deficient. However, geography and seasons can have an impact on vitamin D absorption, and the UVB content of the sun's rays is not high enough in many parts of the world to stimulate vitamin D production. Because the elderly are not getting enough of it, they must take a supplement. As we investigate Dr. Scharfenberg's secrets to longevity, it is critical that we consume a variety of vegetables and fruits. However, as proven by the Seventh-day Adventist lifestyle, it is not just the foods that matter, but the complete healthy lifestyle. Avoiding dangerous substances such as smoke and alcohol while engaging in fitness and community service.